Hey there, I'm Sky, and I just want to go over some of the things from the Rushdill Yuga starter deck, specifically the monsters released, the monsters spells and things released so far for the deck, and I'll do a video straight after this one uh, about the Rook starter deck, or the Rook starter deck, however you want to call them, but I'll do one based on that starter deck, so that we can maybe compare them uh, and see how they go. I should state off, first of all, I have ordered a booster box, and dual starter decks, so I will be getting the 7 World Switch, and I will also have a booster box of the Yugo Rush Duels, uh, was it Open Rush Road? Uh, so I'll likely be doing an opening of them on my channel around the time of April when I get them. So let's quickly go over the basic rules of Rush Duel. Decks are between 40 and 60 cards, starting life point, starting hand is 4 cards, starting life points is 8,000. Rush Duel Monsters, sorry, just have to check my inventory for a second. Rush Duel Monster Field is Monster Zones, Spell and Traps, Deck Zone, Graveyard, Field Zone, and Extra Deck. However, there's not been any listed Extra Deck Monsters as of yet that I'm aware of. And, also, these, there's only three Monster Zones and Spell and Trap Card Zones, similar to Speed Duels, and, or Duel Links, and the TCG. The traits of Speed Duel or Rush Duels are drawing them up, you draw until you have 5 cards in your hand during your start, during draw phase. The player with the first turn draws one as well. Uh, your hand size is 5 or if you're, sorry, if your hand size is 5 or more, you still draw a card. No limit to hand size and also continuous summoning. You can normal summon or set monster from your hand as many times as you want per turn. The phases are much the same, it's draw, main, battle, end, and then your opponent's turn. But first off, let's start off with the Ace Monster of this deck, uh, Seven Rose Magician. First off, got to say, gorgeous artwork. Um, and I think the unique thing of having the Ace Monster, the, the first label Ace Monster to have, well, Tiva, not unique. Jane was the same Flingling Man, uh, and I think some thing was with something happened with UC and Junk Warrior. But I mean in terms of the fact that this card, paired with this effect, I think that's quite unique, is what I'm trying to say. It is a level 7 Dark Spell, 7 Worlds Magician is a level 7 Dark Spell Castle Monster, 2100 attack and 1500 defense. Its requirement factoring its effect is sending the top card from your deck to your graveyard. And it gains 300 attack for every monster of different, at sorry, for every different attribute amongst the monsters in your graveyard. So this deck would be quite good. I'm going to say this weirdly, this deck could work in, say, a Neospatian deck. Not in terms of actually being good, but in terms of you could get its effect off kind of easily because Neospatians are all different attributes, so you're likely to get different attributes. The idea is you just play a multi-attribute deck and gain, defend, and gain attack when you use this effect, which is quite interesting because this thing could probably quite easily build up. The max attack it could go to would be 7 times 3 uh, that would be 21 plus times 100, so 2100. This thing can go to a max of 4200, which is quite good for an ace monster. And I can see that happening to a lot of debt, to a lot of games. So definitely good card in my opinion. However, we'll have to wait and see in future, for future cards on how good it is. Uh, 7 World Mission, we'll be over this. Uh, Windcaster Torna. 1600 attack, uh, 1000 defense. Level 6 Wind Monster, Spellcaster Sight, send one card from your hand to your graveyard, change the battle position um, change the battle position of a monster your opponent controls, attack position becomes face up face up defense position, face defense position becomes face up attack position. Fair enough. Um in all honesty, if you've got I would say good if you've got Yuga's monster effect off, uh sorry, seven world position effect off that could be quite good to finish off your opponent if you know they've got a weak card or they don't have much in the way of defence. It's useful, I can see it being used, albeit I could probably see it being more used in an anime sense, so who knows. Um, Dark Sorcerer, 1500 attack, 4000, uh, level 4, sorry, 1500 attack, zero defence, no effect, and level 4, um, not the best in all honesty, it's one of the better, I think one of the better normal monsters I've seen in Rush Duels, but in terms of these cards, I don't see these cards being used 
particularly often unless it's like support using a support like in the case of I think Wind Spirit Blessing. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard to activate, choose one monster you control, spell cast type, and it gains a thousand attack until the end of the turn. That can make that can quite easily make Dark Souls for quite good. I won't I won't deny that. That can make him quite a good beat stick. Plot him down, action card, you've got two thousand five hundred beat stick quite easily. And yeah, it I can see that being useful I guess at times. I don't know how well no one else is gonna go. I'm relatively new to the idea of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! and this is a new format, so honestly a lot of stuff is up. No I don't think really anyone can tell uh, what's happening. Uh, next card is Lum the Shaman. Uh, it is a le level two light spell casted monster, five hundred attack, zero defense, and you can activate this card by sending face up card, one face up card from the field to grave or this face up card from the field to graveyard, set one face up monster, level four low spell casted monster, sorry, level four or lower spell casted monster, you control this turn, it can attack directly. Now this I just realized can work really well with Dark Sorcerer and Wind Blessing Spirit. You activate Wind Blessing Spirit, increase the attack of Dark Sorcerer, it's level 4. You then uh, pop Luminous Shaman, and now your Dark Sorcerer can attack directly. Just, that's a quite good thing. That's a pretty instant 2500 damage, and uh, suddenly your opponent is down a quarter of the health, or over a quarter of the health. So, yeah, I can, for the structure deck, I can see that being quite useful. Um, next up is Magical Beast Lothar. Spellcast is a monster, 1100 attack, 100 defense, uh, no effect, and it's a 5 hit monster. It's useful for 7 rotation effect. You can use it for uh, Luminous Shaman's effect. It uh, activate with Wind Blessing Spirit. So far, the deck seems to have good synergy with getting some decent attacks off. I don't see a problem with this. Uh, this seems to be pretty easy. Uh, next up is Hydro Magician, 1700 defense, 1700 attack, 1500 defense, and level 5. Definitely stats that remind me of a OG Yu Gi Oh card, like the cards you get in the very first few sets that are level 5, that don't have the best attack. Very much reminds me of that, but at the same time, you have to remember in Rush Duels, you can normal summon as many times you want. So, level isn't necessarily as much of a problem, and if really in this deck, all that does is serve as a catalyst to getting 7 Magician even stronger. So you know what, fine, I, I think that works, um, however as the meta for this game goes on, I don't know. Uh, but definitely for the star, star deck, so far I think this, the deck definitely has some good synergy so far, and when I say synergy, it has some good things that can bounce off each other, and I think it definitely works really well so far, and yeah, I would definitely, this is definitely one I'm going to use most I think. So let's see the next card. Next card is Spell, Spell Archer. Spell Archer is a level 3 win spell cast type monster. 1000 attack, 400 defense, no monster. Again, it acts as a catalyst for 7 Rose Magician. You can activate its effect with Wind Spirit Blessing and also Luminous Shaman. I don't see a problem here. It works. It, it works, and there's not much else I can say. It, it, for a starter deck, there's not much to complain about. However, this is a card I'm quite intrigued by, and I think I would love to use the most. And I didn't actually know this came with the uh, dual starter deck, which is what I've ordered. I didn't know it came with that until doing research for this video and looking through these cards. So, Seven Sword, Seven Sword Witch, level 6, Dark Spell Crystal Monster, 600 attack, 1000 defense. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard, special summon one monster, level 7 or higher. Dark Spell Crystal Monster. monster from your hand in face attack in, fa in face up position so I presume that's face up defense or attack I, I presume that you just do it either way uh, if you special monster if you special summon if you special summon seven sword magician this way that card gains one attack until this turn perfectly great effect I think that's a really good way that could also be used in I guess if you were to have dark magician in rush duels very easily way of doing dark magician off However, I don't know if they would do that mission, but definitely a decent way to pop a card out. And I'm, I'm sure down the line there'll be plenty of level. I'm sure down the line there'll be plenty of level 7 or higher dark spellcasting monsters 
so I can see this card being used for some time. Uh, I definitely can see it being negatable, uh, but definitely early days I think is very useful. Uh, even just for Sid Dundrish himself. However, again, all, this card is only for the dual pack on the Star Decks. Uh, level, okay, next up is Strafe Melion. It's a level 1 Earth Spellcaster normal effect monster. Zero attack and 1400 defense. Again, no monsters, no effect. Uh, again, same thing as I've been saying for a lot of these other normal monsters. It acts as a catalyst for. It acts as a catalyst for Sidmo's Magician effect. It can technically be used with Wind Spirit Blessing. Yeah, and it also works with uh, Luminous Magician, Luminous Sharon. So if you want to pop a thousand damage, that's a way of doing it. I don't see too much useful about this. It's more a thing I would imagine you'd set to defend yourself, and there's not much else you could do with that. But again, you could always use Lumina Shaman and Wind Spirit Blessing to get some a thousand, get a three thousand down to get a thousand damage off. So I guess that'll work. Um, last but not least is Mad Rushroom. Requirement: uh, You can activate this card if you control a face-up spell casting monster. Effect. Select and destroy one spell cat spell trap card your opponent controls. It's MST, but you have to control spell cast hit monster. That's I don't see how it's described but um definitely a card you can use to get rid of cards. And getting rid of back row is always fun. So yeah, I don't see a problem with this. Um I will say if I've said nothing useful, I'm sorry, I've said this I've said this before in this video. I'm new to meta, I don't know much, so please bear with me and I would love to learn the virtual meta with you guys as I, as I continue to collect, hopefully you continue to collect, and in general we just have fun with this game, whether it be digital or physical, just have fun. Bye. Oh yeah, quick thing, uh, remember to like, comment and subscribe, because that's the thing you need to do on YouTube apparently. No I, I, no, I don't want to go live. I'm keeping that in. I just can't go live by accident.